When we put on suntan lotion, there's things like UV, uh, UVA, UVB, and uh, what, what, what do you suggest we put on in the morning before we step out of the house? Okay. So it's very important to use a broad spectrum. And it used to be that we went by SPF factor, and just like the cigarette companies lied to us, so did the sunscreen companies. <laughs> um, so they told us it stood for sun protection factor, but it really stood for sun burn protection factor. Mm. And so what happened is that people would go out and they wouldn't burn, but they would tan. And um, what we discovered is about a decade after the rise in the use of sunscreens in the 70s, there was suddenly a rise in melanoma in the 80s. Wow. And people were saying, oh my goodness, see, sunscreens cause melanoma. But it really wasn't that. It was really an unintended secondary effect. Because what was happening is because people weren't burning, they could stay out side far longer than they ever could without the sunscreens and now we're being exposed to far more of the uva oh, the I tanning see. rays mm -hmm. and they were stimulating pigmentation and melanomas so now the fda has come and said you know what spf really has to be a number that refers to full sun protection. Now, nothing is 100%. Sure. But um, those numbers are meant to say how long you can stay out in the sun with protecting yourself without sun burning, for sure, um, over not using a sunscreen. And so it's trying to address both the UVA, which is the tanning rays, and the UVB, which, which is, is the burning rays. Exactly.